Hi, three most gentlemen, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Listen, you probably don't have low testosterone. You probably just don't eat enough. And I know that a lot of you guys are wanting a six pack. You think a six pack is going to change your life? It's not. You see the Instagram guys having a six pack. You think your life is just going to fall into place? Everything's going to be given to you. You're going to be God's holy child if as long as you take off your shirt and there's a six pack there. I get it, right? It's what we see. We think that this is the most desirable thing. It's not. Okay, it's not going to change your life. What is going to change your life is having energy. Energy is the crucial factor. With energy, you can do anything that can be done in this world. It defines you, man. You have more pep in your step when you have energy. When energy is thumos, right? You go. You're going to more, be more likely to go up to that girl, random girl, and not be in your head because you have the energy. You have that oomph, that explosiveness. When you train and you pick up the barbell, you're going to be excited to train. Because you have energy. And how do you have energy? You have it by giving yourself carbs. Okay, Carbs are a main source of energy. You don't need to worry about your testosterone. There's too much fear mongering on YouTube. Oh, dude, don't wear, don't uh, touch plastic cups. Don't touch a receipt. Don't freaking wear polyester. Don't wear deodorant. Don't brush your teeth. Don't do this. Don't do that. You just oh, oh, fucking kill me, dude. Like, no, I'm not going to live my life in fear. And so a lot of guys are living their life in fear. They want it. They think they have low tests and they're getting obsessed with doing all this stuff and they want to be, have six packs and they're not eating enough. Dude, eat some freaking carbs. I'm telling you, now is the time to become a beast. Honey, oats, uh, I was gonna say whey, honey, oats, potatoes, rice. That is a good staple of carbs, a great carb sources right there. Honey, oats, rice, and potatoes, okay? You do this, you're gonna have fuel. You are going to have thumos in your body. And thumos is what you need. To be successful, you need energy, okay? That's what it takes. It doesn't take, you know, a six pack so you can show it off. You're not even gonna take your shirt off most days, bro. Like, you need some energy to get shit done. And I'm telling you, when you have that energy, you're gonna wanna go out you're gonna to wanna to do stuff. You're not gonna to wanna to sit at your house. You're gonna to wanna to get to work. You're gonna to wanna to pour that energy out into some creative outlet. You're gonna find ways to shake things up. But you need energy. You're gonna approach the girl. You're gonna train like a freaking beast. You're gonna start running more, start moving more. The more you eat, the more your body wants to move to burn off any excess calories, okay? So get in the habit of giving your body the fuel that it needs so you can live a life of high energy and stop worrying about living perfectly and avoiding all these little things and getting super shredded because to be honest when you're shredded you don't have a lot of energy first thing that happens is your sex drive goes away when you have plenty of energy when you know you might not have the shredded freaking six-pack but you have high sex drive your testosterone goes up you need cars for testosterone you your brain functions better you feel more on top of things like there, there's not this you just have explosiveness training jujitsu there's more explosiveness in your boxing things it doesn't feel like you're sluggish and you're wading through water you're in the muck trying to make it out that's all energy baby that's all energy a man is supposed to be freaking strong you know not like shredded nature didn't create you to be this little string bean that has some abs um you need you know you you need some meat on your body so now's the time to put some meat on your body dude we're on the battlefield if you're too skinny freaking enemy's gonna be laughing at you okay and when you get shot in the leg me and the boys we can't carry you off you can't can't carry your fat ass off of the battlefield all right so move more here's one thing i would say if you are skinny fat i get a lot of skinny fat guys telling me well, hey man what should i do should i cut don't cut you don't even have any muscle built you don't need to cut as you begin to gain muscle your body's gonna fill out you're gonna have this taper now because your shoulders are wider your arms are bigger your back your traps your legs and when you build that muscle, it's gonna burn more calories. Your metabolism is gonna increase. So don't worry about cutting. That's the worst thing you can do now. Hit your maintenance and get enough protein, get enough carbohydrates, okay? Experiment eating a bowl of oats in the morning with some whey, maybe a little thing of butter in there, some honey, some pinch of sea salt. See how you feel going forward. Stop the intermittent fasting. Stop the fad diets, the carnivore, the vegan, the keto. Eat whole foods. Life is not complicated. We complicate it, okay? There's a thing in that we say in our group, we say 200G stands for 200 grams of protein. Now, you probably don't, if you're not, you know, say you're 150 pounds, you probably don't need 200G, right? But uh, eat accordingly to your body. 200G 
is a benchmark. It's a promise. It's fulfilling that ideal, reaching towards the highest peak that we can daily. So 200 G boys, hit that 200 G. All right, let's freaking eat big. Let's lift. Listen, when you eat enough food, the barbell, like I said, should feel like a little plaything in your hand. You should be excited to lift. The pump is going to come easy. You don't have low tests, okay? If you have low energy and your workouts are struggling, you don't feel like training jujitsu or your whatever martial art, Muay Thai, boxing, you're probably just not eating enough. That's really it. You're not eating enough, you're not sleeping enough, okay? Eat enough food, that, that bar should feel like a toy to you, okay? Like you're excited to lift. The pump should, when you're lifting weights, it's like the, the uh, you've greased the groove. Like your joints won't hurt as much. Think you'll have more explosiveness to your movements. Everything will just sort of connect and feel right when you eat enough food, specifically when you give yourself carbohydrates. Don't be afraid of carbs, dude, all right? Eat the piece of fruit. Have a little honey. Have some oats. It's not going to lower your test. You're a high test man. You're a young man. There's nothing wrong with you. Okay, get some sun, get some steel, lift some weights, have some competition, have some brotherhood in your life. You don't have that, come talk with us. You guys can try out the group for free. Listen, I want to talk to you. Come join us. We're freaking, we're shaking things up, baby, 200 G. So that's it. Live a healthy lifestyle and you will be rewarded for it. You'll feel good. But you can't slack. Okay, you can't slack. It can't be like a one day thing. You got to make up your mind now, dude. Today's the day you got to become a beast. Make up your mind. Let's get to work. All right, eat big, lift strong, and you're gonna have so much energy. You're gonna have plenty of energy to do whatever you want. Get out of your head that you have low tests because you don't have low tests, all right? If you're really worried about it, then go get a check. Go get a check. 200G, boys, high through most. See you soon, peace.